There you go. First one, guys. Light line, six pound test. Let's hope I can get him in. Corner of its mouth. There you go. And then another one. Alright, I gotta go clear water to get some underwater footage. Pretty good one. Pretty good one.
Oh, that's a striper. Oh, back to back to back to back to back cast. Very fun. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Pretty nice one. Now, guys, pretty good. Live shad, six pound fluorocarbon. It might take a while. First one was a little skinny one on the live shad. Swallow that too. Solid one for the. Alright, time to get a bit on this live shad.
there you go. That's a good strike, there, guys. Six contest. Come on, baby. Yeah, late start to this day. Um, went to the lagoon earlier with a friend, but we didn't have much luck. Um, spent a little time looking for shad. I got a few. Now it's about like four o'clock, and I have only I only have about like six shad or so. So I'm trying to get uh, as many striper bites as I can with all the shad I have left. And if I can reuse shad, even better. Exciting bite. Gotta get my net ready. Come on, buddy. Give it a little. Uh, come back. Really good fight, man. one a little schooly that's like he swallowed it I'm not entirely sure nice guys got another decent one on my shad oh well look at the hook set right on top of his mouth just how we like it all right I actually got a dead one this time Let's hope they bite it. Oh, there you go. They are fired up, guys. Oh my gosh. What a bite. Jeez. I see like 20 stripers out here. Oh, he came off. Wow. Man, what the heck? 
Man, man, I got a lot of dead shad. Thankfully, they're fired up, so they'll take my uh, bait out of the way. They don't seem like they really care too much about it. Oh, oh gosh, take it, take it and ran. I had to walk that guy up and down a little bit. Oh, what, what a run, what a run. This will never get old, guys. Jeez. He's gonna make another run soon. It'll be any second. He's definitely not ready to give up. Once he sees a boat, he's gonna make a dash for it. Yep, saw the boat. Saw the boat. He's digging. So I had six pound test tide on. Normally I would have 10 pound floral, but uh, I was crappie fishing this morning. So I'm too lazy to tie on a new uh, heavier leader. So I'm just going with six pound test, but I think it may work to my advantage because uh, who knows, they might be line shy, you know? I gotta stay in one spot, continue to catch the same school of fish. And I think that six, I think that six pound test really helps. Okay, schoolie. Hooked right here on the side of his cheek. All right, I gotta show you guys what I'm seeing on my screen. They're so savage. Oh my gosh. I, I'll try my best to show you guys. See, there's, that's my shad going down right there. You could, that's my shad right there. My shad is right there. Someone's coming up right now to get it. Oh, he's all over it. Oh, I got it. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. I don't know if you guys saw all that, but... That, oh, here he comes again. That guy's all over it. Oh, I got another strapper coming in right there. Got a bunch of them coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, he's about to take it. Oh yeah, I'm bit. Oh. Damn.
Next time, maybe I'll try to set up a live scope, you know, with the camera on the live scope like I did for crappie and show you guys a better footage of uh, how, this, how these uh, stripers attack. Because it's so nuts. Am I bit? I think so. Might be another bass. Ah, another bass. Off he goes. Last shad of the day. He's a lively one. So let's hope it's not a bass and let's hope set the hook. No, I didn't do much of an intro today. I had a little late start to the day. Uh, we I went to the lagoon with a friend this morning. It was a bit slow, so I didn't really film anything there. Came out here and caught some shad and got on a decent striper bite. I wish I had more shad. I would have I would have caught so many more, but uh, coming in and like uh, off time to net shad was a bit tough. So I did what I could with what I had. So worked out pretty well still. All the products that I used I will be linked in the description down below, which goes for the rod, reel, line, etc. and the hooks. If you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all on the next trip. Peace!